Good afternoon, brethren. Today is March the 16th, 2018. I am delighted to be able to bring this forward to you all. I know many of you have questions, so I'm going to go over a couple of in-depth things that seem to be the most frequent questions regarding um, this uh, recent increase of knowledge that we've been given um, regarding Pi, but also regarding the connection and the um, the uh, way that Father brought us to Messenger Paula. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just get this started. And um, I want to bring to your attention also, especially with every word spoken, I always include um, the transcript and any other links mentioned in the word. I add them to the pinned message. So it's very important that you take to that. Okay, so... Um, today we are going to cover regarding the mirrored video that I did this morning regarding the living word, the actual living word, the living water, the living numbers and the letters that Messenger Paula is going to conduct a teaching on. She is already actively doing that. Okay, now... Um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to read from my notes because I don't want to miss anything. I really had to take um, some notes so that I could answer each individual question that keeps surfacing and arising. So um, what this is, is um, let me just get started with it. So indeed, knowledge is increasing this. We are witnessing this, I should say. As I mentioned, today's mirrored video that I uploaded, again today being March the 16th, 2018, it will reveal Father's hidden mana to us discussed and outlined in the scriptures. This is a blessing, a gift from Father Yahweh to us, His children. I want to give all praise and glory to our Father, our Mashiach Yahushua, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, whom imparts wisdom and knowledge. Aman. Since the um, formation of this uh, channel, many of you know because I have repeatedly stated this, I have always encouraged, and it has become literally the trademark and the slogan for this channel. And that has always been for each of his children to seek him directly. Do not lean on the flesh for your answers as solid confirmation. Always take what you hear, what you are given, or perhaps if you have a question or you're just not sure, because let's say everybody's giving you a different answer, always seek Father directly. Okay, It is He who will guide your paths by the outpouring of His glory, the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh. Indeed, it is the Ruach HaKodesh that pours out the very essence of the oil mentioned in Proverbs that the wise virgins seek and acquire. Please, if you haven't already, Father had me share several months ago, probably about two months ago, with the body of Christ, um, the audible version of the book of Proverbs. You can listen to the audible or you can take to the book itself. For me, I get more if I'm reading it. So that's just a word of encouragement um, for you to know about this, this uh, oil. Now, moving further along in this information that we're receiving, the living letters and numbers and symbols in particular, we learn in Revelation chapter 13 verses 18. This is referencing the meaning in numbers. Pay close attention to what I'm saying here. That verse, I'm going to read it and watch it come to life. This calls for wisdom. Let the person who has insight or wisdom, okay, calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and that number is 666. Pay attention to that, because I'm going to get into it a little bit deeper so that you understand it a little bit more insight. 
This study of numbers is no different than what we as watchmen, as maidservants, as saints, that we have been receiving, whether it's through dreams, visions, actual visions of the numbers. This teaching that Messenger Paula is conducting is only going to flourish that knowledge. It's going to open up doors that were not open to us before. Again, thus the hidden knowledge. This teaching and gift that Sister Paula is conducting actively, she's doing that already, is a more in-depth look into the living numbers and letters. A divinely guided and inspired by the Ruach HaKodesh. This is a beautiful gift from Father Yahweh for His children, all of His children, that are willing to overcome and have zeal for Him to obtain this knowledge, to learn about these hidden manas. Sister Paula's um, channel, uh, in part, is uh, called Wakefulness Theology. She will be conducting, and she is, like I said, she is already actively doing this. It is by the grace and the glory of Father that I am able to share it with you because of the way that He led me to her link and her, her channel. And it was all done through Pi. Okay, uh, let me just um, look at my notes here. I apologize. It is Paula who will be conducting this teaching. So it's very important that we want to make sure that we pose our questions to her directly because this clearly is not my gift. This isn't my calling. If you've watched her, if you've sat in on her videos, I don't know how to do any of that. I'm not creative with gadgets, so this is something that is divinely being poured out upon her spirit, and she is char sharing it with the church, okay? Now, Father is utilizing my podium, okay, as a sign and as, as a gesture in the spirit of unity, okay? Because we each hold a piece of the pie. As I said, he's using this podium to extend and announce the offer, the invitation for each of his children to tune into her channel. We as children of the Most High, surely, surely we can discern and appreciate and witness such a phenomenal gift in action when we tune into her channel. This is a gift of the Spirit. Mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, we are given each different gifts. We are to lift each other up to glorify our Father in unity, to implement His will. Now, I've gotten a couple of questions since sharing the introduction, the part one to Sister Paula's um, uh, insight, the, in, the divinely insight that she's receiving regarding the living uh, waters, the living letters, symbols, um, numbers. Okay, so now some of you have come on here and, and I appreciate it because I'm just as anxious and I am, I am just as excited, if not more. I really am. I'm excited to do this, to be a part of this. And I really feel like this is going to unite us and bring us together. And um, some of you have asked, well, I haven't been able to calculate my name. I have not been able to calculate my name either. Please understand that when I was first led to Sister Paula's channel, if you remember, that was on Pi Day. That was on March 14th. So I also, I'm, I'm catching my breath. I have to still do my part in this, and I have to, you know, create formats that I can speak to you on regarding her gift and how Father wants us to tune into that gift and accept his, basically his cordial invitation to seek knowledge and learn and increase in knowledge as it is mentioned in the book of Proverbs. Again, the book of Proverbs is the largest gem that has been overlooked and I keep 
uttering that, hoping that you will catch along, hoping that some of you will take to the book of Proverbs because Father has emphasized for me to convey this information. It is a huge nugget of information. Now, um, so please, in regards to the calculation of your names and anything else, like I said, I'm learning alongside with you. So please be patient with me because I'm truly not the one who's conducting this teaching. That is, I don't want to, what I don't want to do is try to answer something that I know nothing about. This gift was not given to me. And so I don't want to make the mistake of guessing and leaning on my own understanding. So I, too, have the same questions you have um, for Sister Paula. So um, let me read the next verse that Father wants me to include, which is in John chapter 7, verse 38. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being, our temple, we inherit the kingdom. The kingdom is in here. from his innermost being, will flow rivers of flowing. Well, think about it. Why do waters flow? Because they're alive, flowing waters. Every number, letter, consonant, animal, birds, Doves, anything, any animal, all animals have their purpose. We each hold a piece of the pie. We all have a purpose. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let us not be rejectors of knowledge. Let us rejoice and unite, and rather let us be seekers of knowledge. This is essentially a call to invite the overcomer, those who still have zeal for the Lord, your first love, those who hunger and thirst to increase in knowledge. This is your meat. This is your mana. In Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 13, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you, will you be put to shame? Those who turn away on earth will be written down because they have forsaken the fountain, the very fountain of living water, even the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, Listen, these, this word, the word is coming to life. It is living. It is the living word of our Father, Yahweh. Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee greaty and mighty things which thou knowest not. We are to ask and we shall receive if we ask with all of our hearts, all of our being. Father will guide our paths. I'm going to go ahead and conclude here. I will include part one, which actually I already have this morning. Um, I included part one, but it cut off. Um, so clearly I'm running out of time on my gadgets, but I will include the link here. And I'm also going to include a link that Sister Wanda and Sister, I believe it's Sister Moon. I thank you, ladies. I thank you for doing your part in joining hands, in uniting in the body of Christ, and um, bringing to my attention about the Facebook group that Paula has set up. Please join us there. This is amazing. We can all learn together. So I'm going to go ahead and include that in the links here. Um, her gift from Father Yahweh to us um, is so very special. I ask and I encourage you all, each of you, um, please seek her channel. It is absolutely phenomenal what Father is gifting the church. And I pray that you will join us and that you will embrace this beautiful gift. And as a confirmation, I just want to share with you, I got on bent knee in Anna before I came on. And my heart's just been really, really, um, I apologize, my hair's just sort of freaking out today. 
I've been getting attacked a lot by our brethren on here, and I'm I'm really struggling to understand why. And I know the answer because Father showed me the answer. It is a lack of knowledge that is causing brethren to bicker and banter and debate back and forth. Please hear me when I have already stressed and encouraged on every single video. Do not believe me. In, indeed, make every man a liar, but make Father Yahweh's word the truth. If there is something that does not sit well with you, keeping in mind, we're all on different chapters of our walks, but we also probably have a multitude and a plethora of different Bible versions. That is why Father tells us to seek Him directly in all things. He will guide us in the right path. If there is something that has been altered or excluded in your particular version, because not every version is the same. Saints, think of it. That's logical. Every version has been rewritten and translated by the hundreds, if not thousands. So it's very important to not point out fingers or feel lesser than others. We are here to console each other and try to help each other. But overall, overall, the message and the trademark of this channel is please seek Father directly so that He can pour out the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, that can only give you this wisdom and knowledge. It is something that you have to acquire. It is something that you have to seek. It is something that you have to obtain. That secret oil of the virgins must be obtained. It cannot just be given. You have to seek it and find it. The question is, is are you up for this treasure hunt? I love you. Father's confirmation was Psalm 119 for me today. If you get a moment, please read it. It truly brought me to tears. And I pray that it blesses you and gives you insight on my stance and my walk in order to give you the truth. I love you. May Father Yahweh bless us all.